mom, hi classmates. So we are the group that will tackle the report about technique in professional stage 2 leadership in hospitality and tourism industry. So before we start, I will share some ideas about the leadership in hospitality and tourism industry. The tourism and hospitality industry is broad and covers travel, accommodation, food service, conferences, and leisure and recreation. This report focuses on the passenger airline sector, the hotel sector, and the fast food sector of the industry as a whole. It examines the current state of these sectors and their existing leadership practices, the issues and the challenges which the industry and its leadership is likely to face over the next 5 to 10 years are examined and thus recommendations are made for now these challenges may be responded to. Thus, it summarizes that these issues and challenges in the industry and the leadership itself are more based or emphasize the value of customer service, guest satisfaction, and the business itself, and which can also um, reach people by means of advertisement through social media and other review sites. The overarching goal for everyone in hospitality leadership is meeting and exceeding the needs of guests. Business leaders emphasize the value of exceptional customer service in achieving guest satisfaction, repeat business, and excellent word-of-mouth advertising through social media and other review sites. From the word overarching, um, example for that is an archery. Um, holding the bow and targeting the, um, targeting the arrow to the goal, which everyone's part of the company industry wants to achieve by a common goal, which the company will be successful. And including for that, the goal, customer or guest satisfaction, increasing demand and supply, and of course, to gain or earn more profit. All of that will be possible and will achieve if everyone's part of the company are working together, communicating, and uh, motivating to achieve a common goal which the company will be successful. A leader is very important person in the tourism industry. Leadership is an important function in small businesses to large industries. Leadership and management represent two completely different business concepts. A leader itself is the one who does the motivational, inspirational, and communication between the various individuals who are responsible in the business industry. Leadership is commonly defined as establishing a clear vision, communicating the vision with others, and resolving the problems or conflicts between the various individuals who are responsible for completing the organization or business industries. So, moving forward to the introduction to leadership. Leadership is the process of actions and operations, creativity and emotions of mind, body, and soul. Leader is the one who inspires self and others for the fulfillment of the mind, body, nature, and the activities of the environment to a particular purpose in business, career, and life. He works for the self and others foundation of the mind, body, nature relationship, attachment, separation, and actions. A leadership can be defined as one's ability to influence, to motivate others, to bring the best out in them. It focuses on encouraging individuals to add more to a overall effectiveness of an organization or business industries. Leadership is often defined as a process wherein an individual um, influences and encourages others to achieve the organizational objectives and directs organizational so that it becomes more coherent and cohesive to work. Moreover, a person who brings out the change is the one who possesses the ability to be a leader. A good leader is the one who always looks out after others before himself and is proactive. Proactive refers to a leader's tendencies of being three steps ahead of others thinking of all possibilities of a scenarios. Um, leadership can refer to a person that does not think of himself alone, but um, prioritizes much to people involved, um, co-workers and laborers. I can base this example through my um, experience working in a canning company last summer vacation. Um, a lead man who became also one of my friends, and what I really um, admired about him is that he prioritizes much the safety first of each um, of each workers and most especially when everyone has to take the meal um, 
he let us his co-workers take the meal first and then after he will take his not to hinder the job or work leadership is all about developing people um, in turn helping them to reach their maximum potential in the simplest of term leadership is um, is an art of motivating people to reach or to achieve a common goal highlighting the difference between the two terms leaders and managers leaders have people follow them whereas managers have people work for them management process can potentially aim to providing leadership whereas the different leadership activities contribute at managing there exists a profound difference between management and leadership and both play a vital role in an organization or business industry a manager emphasizes on planning and coordinating the different tasks to be performed with an organization which the employees are assigned, while leaders are focused on inspiring, helping, and motivating people for them to work hard. And also, it is a process of strengthening bonds between um, the members, employees, and leaders for the purpose of more efficiently and effectiveness achieving um, the group goals. And also to work together to meet the needs of their customers by accomplishing the purpose and goals. On the other hand, leadership styles are all about the application of the different methods to help you achieve your objectives. The topic of leadership style will be discussed by Norwina Flores, the next reporter. Therefore, a successful organization is the one which requires the adequate and appropriate combination of both management and leadership. Therefore, a successful company or business industry requires both good manager and good leader. Thus, a successful business owner needs to be both a strong leader and manager to help their teamwork towards a vision of an organization. Leadership style Leadership style is a leader's method of providing direction, implementing plans, and motivating people. Various authors have proposed identifying many different leadership styles as exhibited by leaders in the political, business, or other field. So the leadership intellectual capacity helps to conceptualize solutions and to acquire knowledge to do the job. A leadership conceptual ability apply agility, judgment, innovation, interpersonal fact, and domain knowledge. So, what is domain knowledge? Domain knowledge encompasses tactical and technical knowledge as well as cultural and geopolitical awareness. So, why leadership style is important? It is important because in an Indeed survey, 55% of employers started asking about leadership skills. In an interview, at most accurate evaluation of a candidate's ability to succeed in a role. So, as you develop leadership skills, you likely use different process and methods to achieve your employer in objectives and meet the needs of the employers who report to you. To be effective as a manager, you may use several different leadership styles and at any given time. Here are 10 of the most common leadership styles. Number one, coach. A coach leader is someone who can quickly recognize the team members' strengths, weaknesses, and motivation to help each individual improve. A sales manager gathers the team of account executive for a meeting to discuss learnings from the previous quarter. They start the meeting by completing an assessment together of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and traits regarding the team's performance. The manager 
The rebel makes a specific team members for exceptional performance and got over the goals achieved by the team. Finally, the manager closes the meeting by announcing a contest to start the next quarter, motivating the salespeople to reach their goals. Number 2. Visionary Visionary leaders have a powerful ability to drive progress and user in periods of change by inspiring employees and earning trust for new ideas. For example, a teacher starts a group at work for colleges who want to help resolve anxieties and issues students have outside of schools. The goal is to help students better focus and succeed at school. He has developed testing methods so they can find meaningful ways to help students in quick, efficient way. Number three, servant. Servant leaders lead by a people first mindset and believe that when team members feel personally and professionally fulfilled, they are more effective and more likely to produce great work regularly. For example, a product manager hosts monthly one-on-one -on -one coffee meetings with everyone that has concerns, questions and thoughts about improving or using the product. This time is meant for her to address the needs of and help and those who are using the product in an any capacity. Number four, autocratic. Also called the authoritarian style of leadership. This type of leader is someone who is focused almost entirely on results and efficiency. For example, before an operation, the surgeon carefully recounts the rules and processes of the operation room with every team member who will be helping during the survey. She wants to ensure everyone is clear on the expectations and follows its procedure carefully and exact so the surgery goes as smoothly as possible. Number five, laser sphere or hands off. For example, when welcoming new employees, Keisha explains that her engineers can set and maintain their own work schedules as long as they are tracking towards and hitting. Goals that they have set together as a team, they are also free to learn about and participate in projects outside of the team they might be interested in. Number six, democratic or participative. The democratic leadership style, also called the participative style, is a combination of the autocratic and laissez faire types of leaders. For example, as a store manager, Jack has hired many brilliant and focused team members he trusts. When deciding on his storefront and floor design, Jack acts only as the final moderator for his team to move forward with their ideas. He is there to answer questions and present possible improvements for his team to consider. <coughs> Number 7 the path setting leadership style is one of the most effective for driving fast results. These leaders are primarily focused on performance. For example, the leader of a weekly meeting recognized that our R out of everyone's schedule once a week did not justify the purpose of the meeting. To increase efficiency, she changed the meeting to a 15 minutes stand up with only those she had updates for. Number 8. Transformational The transformational leadership style is similar to the coach style in that it focuses on clear communication, goal setting, and employee motivation. For example, Ray is hired to lead a marketing department. The CEO asked her to say 
set new goals and organize teams to reach those objectives. She depends the first month in her new role getting to know the company and the marketing employees. She gains a strong understanding of current threads and organizational strengths. After three months, she has a set clear targets for each of teams that rather than face-to-face -face. meeting virtual team example of the virtual team e-learning we have an example of group dynamic in building the collective terms of various type of activity used to enhance social Relations and define rules within teams often involving collaborative tasks, which is distinct from team training, which is designed by a combine of business manager, learning and development, internal or external, and on HR business partner to improve the efficiency rather than interpersonal relations. Many team building exercises aim to expose and address interpersonal problems within the group. Overtime activities are intended to improve performance in a team-based environment. Team building is one of the foundation of organization development that can be applied to groups such as sport, team school classes, or flight crew. The formal definition of team building includes around goal, reducing effective working relation, building team working relation, Finding solution to team problem. Team building is one of the most widely used group development activities organization. A common strategy is to have a team building retreat or cooperate love and work. Team members try to address underlying concern and build trust by engaging in activities that are not part of what they ordinarily do as team. In the hospitality industry, creating effective teams is essential to ensuring everything gets done with so many tasks to do in a fast pace. Environment teams are the key to success. This has become especially in recent years because change in the hospitality industry have increased the importance of building quality teams. <laughs> 